Hi, this is Mitch again, uh, RC Modeler. Uh, I'd like to share to you another Dollar Tree glider conversion. Okay, well here's the original Dollar Tree glider. Uh, not bad models to work with. The foam's fairly dense. Uh, you do have to do a lot of uh, shaping on the wings and everything. Wings are square cut. Some of them have warps, so you have to work with it. Well, anyway, that's our Dollar Tree glider. What I converted that to was an ME-163 Comet. And here's the Comet right here. Okay, so this thing spans uh, about 21 inches. Has a 9 gram 2400 kV motor, pusher prop. I have it set up with Elevons. Two micro servos, 2.7 grams, I believe they are, each one. Here's our radio compartment and our battery, which is a 250 milliamp battery. Okay, now something a little bit different on this plane. What I do to strengthen the wings is cover them with paper. Now, how I do that is I make a printout on my computer of my wing, my camouflage, whatever I want. And then I spray that with a clear spray, okay? Uh, you can buy Krylon or um, anything, any clear uh, semi-gloss spray, okay? I spray the one side, the printed side only. I give it a good coat, saturate it, let that dry, okay. Then I come in my wings, coat my foam wings, shape my foam wings first, of course, then coat them with white glue. I don't water the white glue down, I just put a nice even coat on. Then I adhere the paper to the wing, smooth it out, trim it off, let it dry. Now what this does, first of all, it saves you time on painting, but it really strengthens the wing. There's hardly any flex in this wing, and it's rock hard. And when I first started test flying this thing, I made some hard, <laughs> hard landings and uh, <coughs> crashing in the ground a couple times. <coughs> Wings held up fine. Okay, so, uh, oh, the plane weighs in about uh, 110 grams. And of course, the motor puts out about 100 grams of thrust, so it's a good, uh, thrust to weight ratio. There's also a little scale pile here. You can see them up front. And I'll give you a couple of views here. Okay. I have this all fly sky radio. I have this one set up for elevons. And you can see my elevons parking. Up, down, up, down. And left and right. Okay. Here's our motor control. And this thing We'll just about go vertical. You can see how barely holding and it's keeping up. So, uh, a couple other things about this plane. Getting the CG right was critical. Uh, first couple of flights I had it nose heavy and the thing just dove into the ground. Finally I got the CG right. plane flies well. It, it's a little bit of a rocket. You gotta fly it fast. And, uh, it's a good little project. Uh, one other thing I did on the fuselage here, after I shaped it and sort of filled it, I coated it with 5-minute epoxy. Uh, it gives it a pretty hard shell and uh, added a little bit of weight, but it makes the plane pretty durable. Well, so this is my ME-163. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing it. Uh, I'm going to try to get some flight videos later on and... Uh, I wish you guys good luck flying your RC. I hope you built some, have some projects going and enjoy this. Enjoy it. It's a great hobby.